In this video, let's talk about iCloud and how you can see all of the iCloud photos that you have on your iPhone. Because it's a little bit more complicated and I would say unnecessarily complicated from Apple, but this is what we have. So if you go to the settings and click on your name, then you will see the iCloud section. So you can click on it and you can see what each section takes up. So in my case, you can see the photos are uh, taking up a huge chunk of my iCloud storage and yes so I have plenty of photos um, backed up or uploaded to my iCloud account but how exactly can I see which photos in my photo gallery are in iCloud well if you click on the photos right here it's gonna give you some options including the iCloud photos which pretty much means that, that it will automatically upload and sync all of the photos across all devices with iCloud. I have it disabled, but I still have some photos which are on the iCloud. If I would turn it on, it would tell me that I need a lot more storage in my iCloud because I have about a 150 gigabytes worth of photos on my iPhone and there is no space for it to be uploaded. But for me, the question is how exactly I can see and access those photos that are on the iCloud. Because if I go to my Photos app, I can see like a thousand of photos, but I have no idea which one is stored on my device and which are in the iCloud. So I have no idea about that. I would personally imagine like if you click on photo to get like more information about it to see if it's on your phone or where exactly it is. Like right now you get the name, you can see uh, the date and uh, the time of the photo. You can see which lens was used and which iPhone was used to take the photo. You can see the location and the things, but uh, you cannot see where the photo is stored. You cannot even see like any section in the photos app, like if you go to the albums, uh, you can see that there are like shared albums, people and places, you can see media types, utilities and some other things, but no iCloud section. But there is only one way how you can access it, but before we continue with the video, I want to say that if you're new here, just click on subscribe for more content like this and let's continue with the video. So the only option is to use the web browser, which is kind of lame, I get it, but uh, as of right now, this is the only thing I know about. So uh, it doesn't matter if you use your iPhone or your uh, web browser on a computer or anywhere else. You go to iCloud.com and log in with your Apple ID and with the password. So after that, you're going to be greeted with your name and your photo. And there is there are a couple of sections like mails, calendar and stuff, but there is also the photo section. And if you click on it, you only access the photos that are in the iCloud. It doesn't have to do anything with the other devices or anything like that. Here, you can only see the iCloud photos. And you are pretty much free to do about them. Like, you can see which photos are here, which photos are stored in the cloud, in the backup. And you can do whatever you want with them. Like, you can delete all of them. You can decide what you want to do with them at all. Because if we come back to the iPhone and to the settings, you can see that uh, the uh, iCloud storage is full. In my case, full 5 gigabytes are, are filled. But the question is, what exactly am I supposed to do with it? Like, how exactly can I manage and delete stuff? So clicking on Manage Storage pretty much only gives me uh, the option to, uh, to see and to upgrade to more storage. And clicking on photos can and only allows me to delete every single photo on my iCloud, which for some reason is supposed to be a good idea. I just want to know which photos are there and I want to manage them one by one. I want to see exactly what's going on in there. I don't want to keep all of them or delete all of them. And this is not a, the answer to my question. So in either case, I just have to use my laptop or uh, my phone to log into iCloud.com and see the photos that are there. That's like the only option. So like I say, this would be pretty much it for this video. I don't think that there is anything else to say about it. Like it's kind of I mean, if you think about it, it's not really difficult to get there, but it would be a lot easier if Apple simply gave us some option to see which photos are in iCloud right on the iPhone and right on any device. And yeah, like iCloud synchronization of the photos is great. Like I snap a photo on my iPad 
and it just shows up on any device which has iCloud Photos enabled and uses my Apple ID. Everything automatically. I get it, it works and it's fine, but how can I clean this? I mean, yeah, that was the whole point of this video, you have to use your web browser. I want to say thank you very much for watching, hopefully I helped you with your question, and if there is anything else that you wanted, would want to ask, there is a comment section to do so, like some other people may be able to answer your question, if not me personally, so make sure to do that, and also leave a thumbs up if it uh, helped you at all, so other people can find uh, this video as well. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and see you guys later in uh, the future uploads.